described with very slow wing beats. Um, but an interesting thing about that is that if you saw an owl or an owl flew right over your head, you wouldn't actually be able to hear it. Mm -hmm. uh, and there is a reason for that. Did you guys know that? Owls fly silent? So yeah, I love this. Okay. So, side by side comparison. This is a red tailed hawk wing. Ooh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. this 
fit. Anything that can fit in its foot. A Harris hawk foot is not very large at all, but because they're hunting with a bunch of them, they can take down huge jackrabbits. And what they'll do is kind of like Jurassic Park, is that one bird will chase the prey into, the, into a bush, and there's others there waiting for it. <laughs> Some of the larger females I've ever caught. 
that are about 1,200 grams. Another name for male peregrine is tiersel, and tiersel is an old English word that means one-third. So the idea is the males are one-third the size of the females, or one-third smaller, depending on how variable you want to be. And that the females being bigger can incubate the eggs. They're going to sit on three to four eggs that look very similar to this. The male is not going to be big enough to really truly incubate those eggs for any long period of time. So the female incubates, the male does all the food provisioning. So for about a seven week time period, that male catches all the food for himself, his mate, and those chicks up until the time they're about two weeks of age. But my goal is, because he is a male, his temperament I think is going to work well, I am going to hopefully lure fly him for demonstrations in certain areas. If I've got a program like the State Park, um, Tedaguch State Park is opening up a brand new visitor center in October. They've asked me to participate in their grand opening because they've had parents since the late 80s that nest in the park. So I am hoping to fly him at that. If I do fly him, he'll have two transmitters on it. I'll have three other falconers with me and five cars because peregrine means wanderer. The bird wants to come back. There's nothing that requires that bird to come back to you, and there's certainly a lot of falconry birds out there that have either been wind blown off, of course. Um, once they start climbing, if you as a falconer are not providing enough game for them, they say, why should I hang around? You're not doing your job, I'm gonna go do my own job and, and hunt for myself. And then Winona, he's one of five babies that fledged from a box at the milling company. He hit a building, basically crushed these two toes. So he ended up at the Raptor Center. They had to amputate off those digits. Well, without those talons, he is pretty limited with what he could catch. He only has two nails on that one foot to hold on. And even when I asked him, like earlier, I asked him to step up to put the hood on, he has a really hard time holding on to the glove because he doesn't have anything here in the center. If he had this toe with the talon and this, certainly this back toe, he probably would have been able to be released because this center toe is really going to help bind and hold on to prey. Everything we do with the birds is very slow because fast movement is frightening to them. Again, we're a lot bigger than he is, if you think about it. So he may try and fly. Falconer. And then I'm just going to stand right behind you. How's that sound? 